Hello everyone, MSRNDA2007 here. Today is Wednesday, December 6th, 2023 at 6.57pm Central Standard Time and this will be board, or I, I'm sorry, mini system test one. So for initiating appliances, I've got the pool station that I don't, one of the pool stations I don't think has been featured on my channel at all. Got this rigged up no fire BNG 1R. That's what it originally was, but I've had it for a while and got really beat up because when I got it, I was very young and did not treat a lot of respect then. Anyway, so it's got the button for my 425120, which originally came from my Maritone 73303 u Got a firelight lock there and got the remainders of the plate. So, yeah. Also got my Simplex 2098-9806 test station. The LED is not wired up. And then for notification plants, got my Monaco Air Prizes, Monaco Electronics, 531-440-11, 24-volt DC vibrating bell. So, with that being said, I'll go ahead and set the system off with the Red Dead BNG 1R in 3, 2, 1. So inside the cabinet for my currently non-functioning MS4, got the wire for the old Vivint panel coming in, going up to the switch, which directly supplies the positive side, the positive wire to the bell. And then I'm using the zone, since even though the panel is off, uh, the zone is still connected together, or you're still able to the circuit can still get completed, so, yeah, so, wires from these pool stations come out of here, go, one wire comes out of here, goes to the two pool stations, and then come back, or, one wire goes in, one wire goes out from the two pool, pool stations, come back in here, complete the circuit, sets, or sends the negative power to the bell, and sets it off. So, yeah, guess I'll go ahead and... Reset the pull station. Uh oh. One problem with this thing being rigged up. This thing is not rigged up well. All that thought. Service radio warning alarm feature. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at a greater distance from the transmitter, will occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. During severe weather, the warning alarm will be activated for severe thunderstorm and tornado watches, and for severe thunderstorm, tornado, and flash flood warnings. The warning alarm will also be used for civil emergency messages. A test of the warning alarm feature of National Weather Service Radio is conducted at 12 noon and 7 p.m. each Wednesday, unless there is a significant risk of severe weather in the area. That's a first. Getting a, a required weekly test while trying to film a fire alarm video. I think that's a YouTube first. Anyway, so now to try and reset this. There we go. Put the key back in the cabinet. Open the cabinet back up. Turn the switch back on. And then get in the bottom cabinet, find the key for the test station. 
that is. Notifier, Notifier 17021. Another 17021. It's not in that ring. There it is. Set that back in the cabinet. And now it's set the system off at the test station. Three, two, one. These wires are not working out the best anymore. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. So, let me go ahead and actually show something, so go ahead and put the key back in the test station. Flip that back on. So, the power supply is connected to a surge protector, and it takes a few seconds once the surge protector is turned off, it takes a few seconds for the power for the capacitors in the, uh, in the power supply to drain. So, let me go ahead and, I guess I'll go ahead and close this up. Let me pull the BNG one off, and then flip the surge protector off. See, it takes a couple seconds for the power to dissipate from the capacitors, so yeah. And then once you, um, once you start the power back up or turn the power back on, it takes a few seconds to, uh, charge back up and set the system off, so. Yeah. Turn the power off to the system from the switch. That's the thing about always having the same brand of pull station next to the same brand of panel. You can just take the key out of the panel, put it in the pull station, take the key out of the pull station, put it back in the panel. Simple, quick, and easy. So, yeah. Turn the switch back on. And, yeah. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video. As always, thank you for watching and be sure to have yourself a nice day.